Many of the Confederate commerce raiders were very successful, capturing dozens of ships worth millions of dollars. But the most famous of all was the CSS Alabama. The Alabama was built in England and completed on July 29, 1862. Although England was a neutral nation, they could build warships as long as the cannon were not put on board until after she was in international waters. The Alabama was a sailing ship, but also had a steam engine which she could use when necessary. She captured her first prize, a whaler, on September 5, 1862, and after taking off the crew and any supplies they could stow, burn her. Alabama continued in this pattern for many months, sailing the oceans of the world finding U.S. ships. She would chase them down and capture them, sending the crews ashore as soon as possible and burning the ships to the water. Captaining the Alabama was difficult for Raphael Sims, a former U.S. Navy officer. There was no Confederate Navy that could compete with the Federal ships, so he had to avoid all but a few of the smallest ships. He had to think ahead of where they would come to look for him. When he caught American merchantmen, many of them had forged documents saying that their cargo belonged to a neutral party which according to international law meant that he couldn't burn them. He had to be careful of which ports he stopped in, because if he chose wrong, he could have his ship taken. Especially considering the obstacles, Semmes did very well. He captured over 60 ships and became the terror of the sea for the north. The damage done was even greater than this large number of ships captured. It's estimated that half of the United States merchantmen either stopped sailing for fear of being captured or were sold to a neutral nation. But the cruise of the Alabama came to an end when she put into Cherbourg on June 11, 1864, and the USS Kearsarge caught up. Unable to escape, Sims decided to give battle. They were about equal in strength, but the Kearsarge had an advantage that the Alabama was completely unaware of. They had placed chains on the side of the ship and covered them with wood, acting as armor against Confederate shot. The battle was fought on June 19, 1864. The ships circled each other, firing as they sailed. The Confederates fired rapidly, but inaccurately. The crew was not experienced in firing, and they didn't achieve many hits. Their gunpowder was also faulty for having been kept too long, and one serious hit on the Kearsarge did not explode. The Kearsarge's shots were much more accurate. Tearing below the waterline, the Alabama began to fill. Finally, after an hour, it was clear that the Alabama would sink, and Sims raised a white flag. Forty Confederate sailors were killed or drowned. Only three were wounded on the Kearsarge. The North rejoiced when they received the news that the feared raider had been sunk. Although the Alabama had not been able to change the course of the war, she dealt American shipping a blow from which it would not recover for many years. <laughs>